Hi guys. Welcome back to my online class. This session, we will solve a problem regarding on statically indeterminate structure when subjected to torsion. The question is, the steel shaft is made from AC and BC. Shaft AC is hollow with inner and outer diameters of 40 mm and 50 mm respectively. While shaft BC is solid with diameter of 50 millimeters. The shaft is fixed at its end, A and B, as shown in the figure below. The modulus of rigidity of the shaft is 80 MPa. When the torque of 1.5 kN is applied to C, determine the reaction at fixed ends, A and B. The maximum and minimum shear stresses for both segments, and the angle of twist at point C. Look at this figure. For indeterminate structure, there are two supports at both ends, at A and B. What we have to do is, first, we have to draw a free body diagram of the whole steel shaft. We remove both supports and replace with reaction torques. We use right hand rule. At point A, we get TA rotates counterclockwise. At point B, after use right hand rule, we get, TB rotates clockwise. TA and TB, we call it reaction torques. And please make sure, the curve of the reaction torque, must be the same with the curve of the applied torque. Next, we apply static equilibrium equation. Summation of moment, in x-axis equals to zero, and counterclockwise rotation is positive. Then we get, TA plus 1500, minus TB, equals to zero. This become the equation one. Next, we cut the structure into sections, and find the internal torque. We have two sections here, section AC, and section CB. You can cut sections either from A, or from B. Both will get the same final result. Let's say, I cut it from A. The first section will be, section AC. OK. Draw the free body diagram of AC, we cut it before point C. Then, put the reaction torque at the cutting point as, TAC. Apply the static equilibrium equation, to get the value of TAC, in term of TA. Then, for section CB. Draw the free body diagram of CB and put the reaction torque at the cutting point as, TCB. Find the value of TCB, in term of TA. Now, we get, TAC equals to, TA. And, TCB equals to, TA plus 1500. The next step is, we substitute the internal torque values into the equation 2. Phi equals to, summation of TL over JG, equals to 0. In this question, total angle of twist, refers to, VAC, plus VCB, equals to zero. Then, find the polar moment of inertia. For section AC, it is holocircular section. Then we use, J equals to half pi, times C outer to the power of 4, minus C inner to the power of 4. We have outer radius is 0 0.025 meters, and outer radius is 0 0.02 meters. Then, we get, JAC equals to 3.62, times 10 to the power of negative 7 meters to the fourth. For section CB, it is solid circular section. Then we use, J equals to half pi, times C to the power of 4. We have radius of CB is 0 0.025 meters. Then, we get, JCB equals to 6.14, times 10 to the power of negative 7 meters to the fourth. Then, we can put all the values in the table. For the length, we just refer on the length of the shaft, in the figure. Modulus of rigidity for both sections is 80 MPa. Then, we substitute all the values in the table, into the equation too. Finally, we get the value of TA equals to negative 423.2 newton meters.
After that, we substitute the value of TA into the equation 1. Noted that, do not ignore the negative value of TA. And finally, we get the value of TB, equals to 1076.8 newton meters. Look at the first free body diagram. The rotation of TA is counterclockwise, and TB rotates clockwise. The negative value of TA represents, actual TA rotates in opposite direction. We can change the value of TA to positive 423.2 newton meters, and put the rotation as clockwise. For TB, since the value of TB is positive, then the rotation of TB is clockwise. The next question is, find the maximum and minimum shear stresses, for both segments. For section AC, tau max AC equals to TC outer, over J. Then we get, tau max AC, equals to negative 29 megapascal. Then for tau min AC, C used is inner radius. And we get, tau min AC, equals to negative 23 megapascal. And for section CB, tau max CB, equals to 44 megapascal. And for tau min CB, since section CB is solid circular shaft, then, there is no inner radius for section CB. So tau min CB, equals to zero. The next question is, find the angle of twist at C. To calculate the angle of twist at C, we can take from the point C, to the point A, or end of the shaft at A. Or, we can take from the point C, to the point B, or end of the shaft at B. The final value of angle of twist will be the same, but different in sign positive and negative. For example, if we take from the point C, to the point A, we calculate the angle of twist. We cannot use T as 1.5 kN, but we use the value of internal torque of section AC, which is, negative 423.2 newton meters. And we get, VAC equals to negative 21.9 radians or negative 1256 degrees. The negative value represents, the angle produced from the applied torque, is opposite to the right hand rule. The value of angle of twist is so huge number. Never mind. It is just a mistake from the question. Our steps are correct. Or, if we take from the point C, to the point B. We calculate the angle of twist. For T, we use the value of internal torque of section CB, which is, 1076.8 newton meters. And we get, VCB equals to 21.9 radians or 1256 degrees. The positive value means, the angle produced from the applied torque, is the same direction with the right hand rule. That's all for this session. Hope you guys enjoy, and understand what I have shared. Thank you for watching.